My fellow Americans, we're only 11 weeks in, but already my administration has achieved historic progress for the American people. In fact, 93 percent of our domestic manufacturers have expressed optimism in the future, a record. The confidence we're seeing in our nation is about jobs and opportunity, but it's also about safety and security. Security begins at the border. As a candidate, I pledge to take swift and decisive action to secure the border, and that is exactly what I've done. We inherited a full-fledged border crisis. It was a disaster. Yet, with quick and bold steps, we have so far exceeded even the most bullish predictions for the progress we could make in so short a period of time. Last month, we saw a 64 percent reduction in illegal immigration on our southern border. At the same time, we're conducting enforcement actions across the country to remove dangerous criminal aliens from our society, and they'll be gone. In just the last few days, our nation's ICE officers have arrested 153 criminal aliens in South Texas, 84 criminal aliens in the Pacific Northwest, and 31 criminal aliens in Long Island, New York. These arrests include aliens convicted of robbery, burglary, aggravated assault, sexual assault against a child, smuggling, drug dealing, and many more. Much work needs to be done to reverse decades of harm caused by open border policies from Washington. But with time, dedication, and effort, we will get the job done and save countless lives in the process. Providing security for the American people also means restoring America's standing in the world. From the very start of my presidency, I've worked to strengthen our alliances and improve our relationships all around the globe. This week, I was honored to welcome the President of Egypt and the King of Jordan to the White House. Now, I am hosting a summit with President Xi of China at the Southern White House to address the many critical issues affecting our two peoples. In our dealings with other nations, our conversations have been candid, open, and grounded in mutual respect. I have been clear about advocating for the national interests of the United States, something so important to me and so important to our people, one of the reasons, certainly, that I got elected. And I want to ensure that the decisions we make truly serve the safety and security of our citizens. In matters both economic and military, we understand that a strong America is in the best interests of the world. That is why it is so important that, as we strengthen international partnerships, we ensure these partnerships deliver real results for Americans and the American people. Our decisions will be guided by our values and our goals, and we will reject the path of inflexible ideology that too often leads to unintended consequences. A future of peace, safety, and prosperity, that is our guiding light and always will be. Together, we will bring about this future for the land we love and for the people who call it home. We love our country, and we love the American people. Thank you.